Welcome back. So now that we've gone ahead and added our custom domain to Azure AD, what we're going to do here is create a couple test users for our environment. We're going to create a user named Lester Murphy and a user named Mike McDermott. Bonus points for those who know what those usernames are references to. So from our Azure Active Directory overview page here, what we're going to do is create these users by browsing over to users here under manage. This is a pretty straightforward process. And then what we're going to do is click new user and we're going to create a user here. We're not inviting guest users. And for this lab here, we're going to use a first initial last name naming convention. And we're going to use the berksbikes.com domain rather than the on Microsoft domain. The first user we're going to create here is Lester Murphy. And what we'll do here is we'll create our password manually. Now we're not going to add Lester Murphy to any uh, roles or user groups here, but we will set the usage location to United States. And we do that because if we don't, it can cause us headaches when trying to assign licenses later. And after we set the usage location to the United States, we'll go ahead and create Lester's account. And then we'll do the same thing for Mike McDermott. And the reason we're creating multiple users is because later on, we're going to assign applications in a different way for each of these users. So you can see the differences. We'll go ahead and create the new Mike McDermott user. So we'll add Mike McDermott's username here. And again, we'll create the password manually. And we'll set the usage location. And then from here, we'll create the Mike McDermott account. So that's pretty much it for this step. Uh, we now have the custom domain name added and we have a couple test users that we can work with later on. What we'll do is jump into the next lesson where we'll actually begin the uh, provisioning of the Azure Active Directory domain services.